So the next thing I need to, for you guys to understand here is if we're looking at a triangle, um, Kale, do you remember how many, how many, what all the angles in a triangle add up to? 180, very good. All the angles in a triangle, no matter what the shape of the triangle is, it doesn't matter if it's an obtuse triangle, a right triangle, or an acute triangle, all the angles inside a triangle are always going to add up to 180 degrees. OK? So now what we're going to do is we're going to start classifying what are going to be all the angles then for a quadrilateral. You guys should be fairly familiar with always, know, or with always working with the triangle, the sum of all the angles add up to 180. But what is it for a quadrilateral? What is it for a pentagon? And what is it for a hexagon? What do all those angles add up to? So the way that we do this is we create what we call a diagonal. So what we do is we pick a vertex on one of the sides of the polygon. All right? Doesn't matter where you guys want to pick it. You can pick one anywhere. All right? And now, so you choose one vertex. You choose one vertex. And from that vertex, what you're going to do is you're now going to want to draw a line to each and every vertex, vertices. All right? So here, I'll draw a vertice here. I can't draw a line here because there's already a line there, right? Can't draw a line to that vertice because there's already a line there, right? Vertice where our two sides are going to come together, OK? So then let's look over here. Here, I have two of them I can draw a line to. And then over here, I now have three. Hmm, interesting. So now what we've done is we've taken our figure, OK? We've taken our figure, and we'll now what we have done is we have broken it up into separate triangles. Now, this triangle, what are all the angles of this triangle going to add up to? Asia, what would you say all the angles in that triangle add up to? 180, right? All triangles, all the angles, no matter what the size, shape, um, angles in it, are always going to add up to 180 degrees. So Zeth, what do you think this triangle is going to add up to? There you go. Elizabeth, what do you think this triangle? Philip, what do you think this triangle? OK. You guys are starting to get the pattern, huh? And then this. Zach, all of these triangles you're all going to add up to? 180, 180, 180, 180. OK, so what's so important about that is if you guys see if these two, we know that this adds up to 180. But a quadrilateral, if you see if these two angles, if these angles all have to add to 180 and these add up to 180, then the total amount of uh, angles, the sum of all the angles in a quadrilateral is going to be 180 plus 180. So a quadrilateral, the sum of the angles in a quadrilateral is 180 degrees plus 180 degrees, which is 360 degrees. So therefore, if I ask you, you know, what is the sum of all the angles in a quadrilateral, you guys can say it is 360. And think about it. Think about a square. A square has four what angles? Four right angles. What's 4 times 9? 360. OK? So a pentagon, you can see now we have three of them. So a pentagon would be 180 plus 180 plus 180 degrees, which equals 540 degrees. So if I ask you what, are, what is the sum of all the angles of a pentagon, we need to make sure that we have this in um, 180 degrees. Okay. Then the last one is our hexagon. <clears throat> um, hexagon is going to be 180 plus 180 plus 180 plus 180. So I'll do 180 plus 180 plus 180 plus 180 equals 720. Okay. Everybody understand? Kind of a little bit idea. A little bit close, something, maybe. All right.